Sadhguru is one of the most popular spiritual teachers of the modern age and has wisdom to teach incredible ideas and concepts. Recently, I came across one of his teachings where he said how you can be a more powerful human by following three tips, all of which will help you feel more energized and empowered. Therefore, in this video, we look at Sadhguru's tips to become a more powerful human being. Number one. What does more powerful mean? Each of us have energy within us that we can use as we wish. And when Sadhguru speaks about being more powerful, he means how well you utilize your energy within you. The issue most of us face is that we have energy pent up, but then release it in ways that are ineffective and inefficient, resulting in us wasting that energy. The energy might be expended in mental or physical activity, even how much you speak in the day or move around, which if used in a practical way can benefit you, but if not, can be exhausting. So now that we understand how the concept of power and energy are interlinked, what are the tips that Sadhguru teaches to help you be more powerful? Number 2. Tip 1. Reduce your words. Think about how much you speak in a day. Sadhguru even suggests to get an approximate number of words you say during the day, just for your benefit. From here, try to communicate the same message that you do, but try and say half of the words that you normally do instead, without losing the power of your message. The point here is that we say a lot, much of it being unnecessary and filling time and taking away energy, which could be better utilized in other ways. So by learning to reduce the number of words you say, not only are you likely to become a better and more efficient communicator, but also reduce the energy you expend. Number 3. Tip 2. Reduce your movements. A similar concept to reducing your word, but instead learning to reduce the amount of movement you do in a day, learning to be still and focused. Again, when you really think about it, you're probably expending a lot of energy in the day making small movements that serve no purpose or benefits. This can cause you to tire more quickly, but also reduce the efficacy of how that energy could be used towards a more purposeful reason. Such as when you do a workout, doing it with greater intensity which in itself will serve greater benefit to you, your health and your feeling of empowerment. Number 4. Tip 3. Say Mantras. Saying mantras has been shown to have great benefits in our lives, not just spiritually, but also physically as studies have found various important results. For example, chanting mantras daily has been found to calm your nervous system, helping you to relax and increase your focus and concentration levels. This can benefit in reducing the expenditure of energy unnecessarily, as not only will you feel calmer, but also less likely to make unnecessary physical movements. Combine chanting mantras with meditation and you'll also be combining two of the three tips together, proving to provide great benefits of how you use energy. Number 5. Why do this? So if you reach this point you might be thinking of what this actually all means, as the concept is quite abstract. However, it also serves practical benefits. By conserving energy and using it more efficiently, you can better utilize your time in the day towards more productive output, such as the aforementioned improved communication or more intense workouts. There are also additional benefits that might not be so obvious, such as communicating with less words means that you also get opportunities to hear others, making for more productive and beneficial communication. All of this comes back to the principle of marginal gains, where small improvements in your life can add up to have significant effects. Are you going to try any of these? Let me know in the comment section below. Please like, share and subscribe as we help you live life on your terms. Don't forget to hit the bell icon to ensure YouTube notifies you of the latest uploads. Thanks for watching.